this fellow named Fritz Wedemann, German consul in Tientsin, instigated a proclamation that the Jews had to be relocated to Hongqiu. Now, Hongqiu is not the desirable place to live. It's the poorest part of Shanghai at that time. We were going to be restricted in a one square mile area, 20,000 refugees, including 100,000 Chinese and the Japanese garrison. So that didn't leave a great deal of space for anybody. And the Chinese really didn't welcome us there because we were imposing on their space. There were seven camps in that area that housed people who didn't have the funds to, to uh, uh, fend for themselves. And so about 3,000 of those refugees were, were housed in camps where they lived in uh, dormitories. Uh, they helped prepare the food, and cooked and cleaned up. The climate in Shanghai was somewhere between 110, 110 in the summer, 32 in the winter, and the moisture was so extreme that the paint, we moved into a room that had the paint running down the walls from the humidity. Of course, that hadn't been painted recently either, but so we had one room about 20 by 20 feet. Uh, my father, my mother, my sister and I. My father put a curtain down the center so he had sleeping arrangements for my mother and him on one side, my sister and I on the other side. And then he would practice medicine as much as he could on his side. He had Jewish patients, refugees, some who could pay and some who couldn't. He had Chinese patients, and he had Sikhs. Sikhs were the guards in the jail, in the prison. 